Welcome Pisces, I'm Brenda, Brenda Terrell, and I'm here again today to bring you your April extended energy reading for the month of April. And the energy may pertain throughout the entire month, the beginning, the middle, or the ending, but know that the energy will resonate with those that will recognize and need these messages. It won't, re this is a general reading and a collective reading and not every single card may resonate with all of you, but take what you can from it. And all the information is posted below should you desire a private reading with me. And I mean all the information. So go have a boo gander and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and of course, uh, subscribing to these. So be sure, please be sure to click the, the uh, option ALL and you'll get notified immediately when any of your favorite YouTube creators are out there. Please be sure to do that. That option will keep you current because the, you know, things are being changed in the back office and people are losing their subscribers because they look inactive. Now, this reading is going to be done two ways. The beginning of it is going to be an intuitive reading of what my guides and spirit are showing me around the energy around you right now. And then I will be using the cards and I will be doing the reading with the cards. So all together, this is going to incorporate the reading and the energy for what is happening in April around you, Pisces. So first of all, I do see that you're going to be able, you're, you're, good, you're leaning into your spiritual aspects because Pisces are very spiritual. They're very psychic. They're very sensitive. And a lot of you are tapping into your spirituality and you're meditating and manifesting more and you're leaning in towards your fruition what it is that you're wanting now they threw up a big roadblock and they threw up a no to me and the no means something that maybe you're expecting is going to happen or something a question that you may have asked about it's no so you may get a definite no to something or you may get a no for now okay which is often the no means not not forever but it's no at the moment okay so for whatever that means, Pisces, take what you can from it. Because I always say to you, throw a question out into the universe and they'll give you the answer. Now, I want you to let go of the past, Pisces. Oh my God, we've been talking and talking and talking about this, this betrayal, this hurt, this pain, this loss that you went through in the past. Let go of resentments because they're only holding you back. And when we resent things and we hold that within our soul and our heart, it poisons us. It, it creates a toxic environment. And we don't want that because we're so sensitive, Pisces. We don't need to take in all that negative energy. So get rid of it. And I want you to move forward towards positive situations now in your life, moving on in a new direction. And accept the success that's going to come in. You're manifesting it. You're meditating on it, Pisces. And you're ready to experience abundance. So don't look back at the previous roadblocks or the difficulties that you've had in the past, okay? Leap into this new, exciting new world of possibilities. I want you to trust, okay? That's the other thing they said. Trust, trust yourself and your decisions. And you know what? Don't, don't be swayed by other people's opinions, okay? Or criticisms. What you do with your life should not be determined by others' opinions, okay? It, it, you know, determined, it, they shouldn't determine your happiness in the direction you want to go. This is your life, path, Pisces. So take action and be confident that you've chosen the right path that you're moving towards. So you're working on things. And I do think that this past situation that you had the loss, the betrayal, the sadness, whatever it was, Pisces, that tower moment we've been talking about for months or even over a year, that you know what? You're moving in a new direction. Okay, and now you're taking a new path because of it and you're meditating and manifesting what it is that you want to bring you the fruition. So this, you know, this sounds great, Pisces. So stand in your power, let the past go, get rid of it once and for all, kick it to the curb, throw all that crap in the wheelbarrow off of the, off of the, uh, the cliff and let it go. Release it to the universe, release it, release it to the divine and the angels and they're all there to take it from you. So starting off, you've got the beautiful card, Pisces, the sun. Okay, and this is all about life looking so much better. Things are brighter. It's like you've been given the second chance here. It's like you've been given a rebirth here. There you are, the brand new baby. Okay, heading out into a brand new, beautiful future towards you. And you're going to thrive through the power of positive thinking, Pisces. Pisces, you're manifesting what it is you want every day. And you're making those changes so that you can see success come into you now. And it's going to happen. We've talked about this now for the last year. There's going to be success. You're going to see success coming into you. Right now, we're all in limbo, right? But it's going to happen, okay? It's going to happen. 
And there's the card coming in below you, the death card. Below the sun, you got the death card. And this is releasing the past, knowing there's a better future ahead of you. It's completed, letting go, and moving forward. Let go and let God, as they say, okay? And that's what's going to bring you this beautiful, beautiful success coming into you with the sun. The sun is almost as good as the, the star card. I mean, you're going to see your path illuminated, okay? You're going to be able to see light at the end of the tunnel. You're going to be able to breathe a sigh of relief. Things are going to work out, Pisces. So don't worry. Let the resentments go. Let the past go. You're moving in a brand new direction with the death card and with this beautiful ray of sun. Now, next to the sun, you got an action card. <clears throat> you got the page of page of wands okay and this is all about following your passion and knowing that you're ready for anything any challenge anything coming in stepping up into your power looking at the horizon to see your ships coming in with vision your future with vision and you're working towards that and there's going to be opportunities coming into you whether you make those changes come into you and that's an opportunity or you're getting offered an opportunity pisces so know that it's going to be exciting for you it's going to be a brand new a brand new direction for you to go towards your goals, your passion. Wow. Coming in beside the night, you've got, or pardon me, the page, you've got the night. So you have the page bringing in something exciting and you've got the night coming in to take action. So you're going to move towards something. You are making those changes. You have the idea here, the vision here coming into you, the offer coming into you, and now you're charging ahead, Pisces. You're going towards what it is you want, okay? And instinctively, you know what it is and what to do. Pisces, you're so capable. You're so intuitive. You're so resourceful. You're so adaptable. You're going to be able to move towards this brand new direction you're going in. And it's going to be a good direction. It's beautiful. You're starting to see your path being illuminated because you're manifesting and meditating on it. And you're taking, you're taking action. You are taking action to go towards what you want. You've got the three of pentacles. This is cooperating. This is about working in teams and groups and being creative when you're communicating with others. This is collaborating with others and realizing that you, perhaps you're, this endeavor that you're taking on has to do with networking and other people or building a clientele or maybe you work with people. Maybe, you know, you're, you're a holistic healer uh, like me or maybe you're, you do what I do. You're out here and, and it all revolves around clients and people and you're a team player and you realize without them, you can't move forward either. So Pisces, do what you love and take time to work towards your growth because I do see growth in your career and also in any artistic uh, events or endeavors that you're putting your hands to, Pisces. You're making it work in your favor. You're very, very cooperative. You're going to be working with others uh, in a cooperative manner. Okay? Beautiful. Look what you got for your final card. Walking in your garden of abundance and fulfillment. This is your dreams being fulfilled, Pisces. This is the Nine of Pentacles. This is, you know, once you once you set your mind to it, you remove the falcon's the hood, and you see the situation in complete clarity, Pisces, what it is you need to do, you're going to take action and move towards it. Because this came in underneath the, the Knight of Wands. So you're going to take action, okay? And you're going to be able to move forward. This is all about, you know, you wanting to be happy and have harmony. And you're making that happen. You planted your seeds well, Pisces, and now you're taking action and you're working towards it. And how amazing you're going to be able to see the fruits of your labor come in. Yes, it's taking time, but that's okay. And underneath, underneath the beautiful, uh, underneath the beautiful page of wands, that's off opportunity coming in, you realize that you need to cooperate with people. You need to have people around you. You need to be a team player and communicate and clearly what it is you want when this opportunity shows itself. And I do see it's already happening because you know what? Here you are, here you are moving in that brand new direction, giving birth to your dreams, realizing that you're changing things up for the better in your life. You've let go of the past and now you're moving in a positive direction and you're seeing the fruits of your labor already coming in. You've worked on your manifestation. You've worked on your meditation. You've worked on it and moved forward physically as well. So this is a great card of taking action, 
seeing, you know, seeing the fruits of your labor come in, Pisces, and we've talked about this for quite a while, all right? And I want you to accept the success coming into you. You're ready to experience this abundance now. It's your time, Pisces, and we've talked about this. So don't look back at the at the roadblocks and the bumps and the that you've had to get over and the, and the mountains you've had to climb in the past, okay, and the heartbreak and so on. That's done. It's dead in the water, and you're moving forward. You're moving forward for a better future, a beautiful one, Pisces. Beautiful. So let those resentments go. Throw them away and trust. Trust in yourself and the decisions that you're making right now, Pisces, that things are going to work out in your favor. Well, that my beautiful, beautiful Pisces, my beautiful mermaids and mermen, please leave your beautiful comments below and let me know how you like this reading. And by all means, please subscribe and click that ALL button. And I need your thumbs up too. So that lets me know that you enjoy what I'm doing. So, we, you know, again, I, I want to change things up. I'm trying to do things differently myself right now. Uh, I'm thinking these are great readings for you to tap into, just not just your weeklies, but this is the energy throughout the entire month of April. So you may look back and say, yeah, I was feeling that way. In the middle, you're going to say where we are now, and then the end, you're going to see how things work out as well. So enjoy this reading for the month of April, my beautiful Pisces. I, I send blessings and prayers for continued good health for all of you. And please play safe and be safe. See you soon, my beautiful Pisces.